Hi, welcome to Beijing Minutes with the top stories around China. My name is Brian Michael Galvin. This week, Xi Jinping delivered a speech at the 95th anniversary of the Communist Party of China. Take on great risks and obstacles. Solve great problems and persevere on the path of socialism with Chinese characteristics. The party's leadership should be held on to and consolidated so that our party, our country, and our people will prevail. History will march forward and will not wait for the hesitant, bystanders, slackers, or the weak. Only by marching forward with history will there be a bright future. In other news, the annual meeting of the new champions, also known as the Summer Davos, took place in Tianjin where a multitude of speakers discussed the fourth industrial revolution and its impact on the world. The 10th Summer Davis Forum attracted more than 1,700 economists, entrepreneurs, and government officials from over 90 countries and regions. China, along with the rest of the world, is standing at the brink of a technological revolution that promises to bring about massive changes to the way that people live, work, and communicate on every level. How will this transition affect people? Here's what one expert had to say. When we look into what the Force and the three revolution will bring in the revolution will bring to us is that it's really a help us to eliminate some jobs that is repeatable, yeah. very transactional, like the the security treat, uh, trade, yeah. secretary, reception. Now they call the EA, <laughs> executive assistant, right? So, um, but it's really give the people around more valuable but which requires more skill yeah. that's really depends on if the people we have here really have the skill the future jobs needed also this week during russian president vladimir putin's visit to china both countries have signed joint statements on strengthening global strategic stability president xi jinping has met with putin in beijing the two leaders agreed to strengthen mutual support and enhance political trust before overseeing the signing of more than 30 deals, most of them bilateral investment projects, sectors such as energy, agriculture, transportation, aerospace, and the military. Well, thank you for watching this week's edition of Beijing Minutes. Please feel free to leave any questions or comments that you'd like for us to answer in the next week's video. Thank you very much.